There seems to be a fundamental gap in our understanding of the universe. Cosmology is approaching a critical juncture regarding one of its core questions. How fast is the universe expanding? For over a decade, two different sets of measurements have been in conflict. Observations of the present-day universe suggest the expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant, is approximately 9% faster than what predictions based on early universe data indicate. Researchers had hoped the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope ever constructed, would resolve this discrepancy once and for all. However, instead of providing clarity, the telescope's exceptionally precise observations have reinforced the disagreement, posing a serious challenge to the standard model of cosmology. Now, the debate has shifted toward the possibility of new physics that could modify or even replace the 40-year-old theory. An intriguing prospect is that there's something fundamental we don't yet understand about the universe. Join us as we explore how new ultra-deep images from James Webb have confirmed that there is something deeply wrong with our current understanding of the cosmos. The universe began with a bang, the Big Bang, where energy, mass, and space burst into existence in an instant. From this chaotic beginning, a rapidly expanding plasma soup of matter and antimatter formed, particles appearing only to annihilate each other in contact. Left unchecked, this mutual destruction should have wiped out all matter, but scientists believe an unknown imbalance allowed more matter than antimatter to form, saving the universe from immediate self-destruction. Gravity then compressed the plasma into pockets, heating the matter and creating sound waves, known as baryon acoustic oscillations, that rippled across the universe at over half the speed of light. As the high energy contents of the early universe expanded, space-time itself stretched. Ordinary matter, which interacts with light, began to clump around regions of invisible dark matter, eventually forming the first galaxies, all interconnected by a vast cosmic web. Initially, the expansion rate slowed as the universe spread out, but about 5 billion years ago, galaxies began moving away from each other at an accelerating pace. The cause? Another mysterious, unseen force, dark energy. The most straightforward and widely accepted explanation for dark energy is that it represents a cosmological constant, a uniform, inflationary energy embedded in the expanding fabric of space-time. Einstein referred to this as lambda in his theory of general relativity. As the universe expanded, its overall matter density decreased, while the dark energy density remained constant, eventually making dark energy the predominant factor in the universe's expansion. The combined energy densities of ordinary matter, dark matter, dark energy, and light determine the maximum rate of the universe's expansion. These components are also central to the lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM, model of cosmology, which describes the universe's growth and predicts its eventual fate, leading to a state of heat death or the big freeze as matter becomes exceedingly sparse. While the lambda CDM model has proven to be highly accurate in many respects, challenges have emerged. Despite extensive research, astronomers still do not understand what dark matter or dark energy actually are. According to Ofer Lahav, a professor of astronomy at University College London involved in galaxy surveys of dark energy, the current consensus is that the universe consists of 5% ordinary atomic matter, 25% cold dark matter, and 70% dark energy. Unfortunately, the nature of the latter two components remains elusive. An even greater issue has arisen with the Lambda CDM model, known as the Hubble tension. Different methods for measuring the universe's expansion reveal conflicting rates. Observations of the early universe show it expanding much faster than the Lambda CDM model predicts. These methods have been rigorously tested and confirmed by numerous observations. As Nobel Prize winning astrophysicist Adam Rees, who led the team behind the recent James Webb measurements, noted, the discrepancy suggests that the current model might be missing crucial elements. To measure the universe's expansion, one approach involves examining the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the universe's first light, produced just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This relic radiation can be observed across the entire sky, and the European Space Agency's Planck satellite mapped it between 2009 and 2013 with remarkable precision, yielding a Hubble constant with less than 1% uncertainty. The CMB shows the universe as nearly uniform, with variations in temperature indicating regions where baryon acoustic oscillations caused clumping as the universe expanded. The cosmic web is a vast network of interconnected strands, where galaxies are located at the intersections of these structures. By analyzing these ripples using the Planck satellite, cosmologists were able to estimate the quantities of ordinary matter, dark matter, and the value of the cosmological constant, or dark energy. 
Plugging these values into the standard model yielded a Hubble constant of approximately 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. To put this into perspective, if a galaxy is one megaparsec away, it would recede from us at 67 kilometers per second. At a distance of 20 megaparsecs, this recession rate increases to 1,340 kilometers per second and continues to grow exponentially. For galaxies more than 4,175 megaparsecs away, their recession would exceed the speed of light. Another method for determining the expansion rate involves pulsating stars known as Cepheid variables. These stars, which have helium gas outer layers that expand and contract as they absorb and release radiation, periodically flicker like distant signal lamps. In 1912, astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt discovered that brighter Cepheids flickered more slowly, allowing astronomers to measure their absolute brightness and, consequently, their distance. This breakthrough transformed Cepheids into reliable, standard candles for measuring cosmic distances. By compiling observations of pulsating Cepheids, astronomers can construct a cosmic distance ladder, with each rung representing a step further back in time. This method is one of the most accurate ways to measure distances in the universe. The first rung of the ladder is established by selecting nearby Cepheids and cross-checking their distances using their pulsating light with geometric methods. Subsequent rungs are added based on Cepheid readings alone. Astronomers then measure the distances of these stars and supernovae and compare how their light has been redshifted to longer wavelengths due to the universe's expansion. This provides a precise measurement of the Hubble constant. In 2019, this method was employed by Adam Rees and his team, who used the Hubble Space Telescope to study one of the Milky Way's closest neighbors, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Their results showed an unexpectedly high expansion rate of 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec, in contrast to Planck's measurement. However, the Hubble Space Telescope's limited precision in dense regions of space may have caused some Cepheids to blend with neighboring stars, leading to potential measurement errors. As a result, some cosmologists argued that the surprising result could be due to a measurement error. When the James Webb Space Telescope launched in December 2021, it was set to either resolve this discrepancy or further confirm it. With a 6.5-meter-wide mirror, nearly three times larger than Hubble's, Webb was equipped to provide more precise observations. James Webb, with its 6.5-meter-wide mirror, surpasses Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror in detecting objects that are 100 times fainter and in its sensitivity to infrared light, allowing it to observe a broader range of wavelengths. By comparing Cepheid variables measured by James Webb in the galaxy NGC 4258 with bright type IIA supernovae, another type of standard candle that all explode with the same intrinsic brightness, Adam Rees and his team found a Hubble constant of approximately 73 km per second per megaparsec. Other measurements, including one by Wendy Friedman using Hubble to study the rapid brightening of the most luminous tip of the red giant branch, and another using gravitational lensing of light by massive galaxies, returned values of 69.6 and 66.6 kilometers per second per megaparsec, respectively. A separate result from gravitational lensing also indicated 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The discrepancy has left cosmologists puzzled. According to Ronan Kaya, a cosmologist at the University of California, Merced, who has been investigating the Hubble tension, the cosmic microwave background, CMB, temperature is measured with 1% precision, and the Cepheid distance ladder is approaching the same level of accuracy. A difference of 7 km per second, while seemingly small, is highly unlikely to be random and points to a definite issue that needs to be explained. This new result has divided cosmologists into factions, each exploring vastly different explanations. An attempt to resolve the issue at a 2019 conference at the Kavli Institute for Theoretical Physics in California only deepened the frustration, with the late Vera Rubin, who discovered evidence for dark matter, noting that nobody wanted to abandon their own theories. Despite the strong belief in their observations and measurements, the discrepancy has fueled a search for explanations. As of February 2023, with James Webb and another independent Hubble distance ladder result confirming the Hubble tension, cosmologists face three possible explanations measurement errors, new physics, or a combination of both. Kaya suggested that most data supports the new physics hypothesis. The simplest and most popular theory is that dark energy may have behaved differently in the early universe compared to today. If dark energy was stronger in the past and has since diminished, it would make the universe appear smaller when observed in the distant past, leading to a faster expansion rate today. Other possibilities include the presence of two types of dark energy or interactions between dark matter and light, 
though these theories introduce additional complexities that cosmologists approach with caution. Without further data, dark energy and dark matter remain profound mysteries. James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been instrumental in advancing our understanding of the universe. When it was launched, it was designed to look further back in time than any previous telescope. JWST's groundbreaking imaging technology has allowed it to observe galaxies formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. However, astronomers have discovered that these primordial galaxies are far more evolved and massive than predicted by the standard model. While early galaxies were expected to be full of young, hot stars forming rapidly, JWST has revealed that many of these galaxies are already rich in heavy elements from earlier stellar generations and are actively developing large cores of supermassive black holes. These observations have intensified the debate in cosmology, providing precise data that both confirms existing discrepancies and uncovers unexpected details about early galaxies. Resolving the Hubble tension and understanding these early galaxies might require either new physics or a major revision of the standard cosmological model. This pursuit represents one of the most thrilling frontiers in modern astrophysics. JWST has not only transformed our knowledge of early galaxies, but has also opened new paths for exploring fundamental cosmological questions. Its infrared capabilities allow it to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, capturing light from some of the earliest galaxies formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. These observations challenge the conventional understanding of galaxy formation, suggesting that early galaxies were more complex than previously thought, with heavy elements and supermassive black holes present at their cores. This discrepancy between theoretical predictions and observations raises profound questions about the mechanisms driving galaxy evolution in the early universe, indicating that processes may have been more rapid and efficient than previously believed, leading to the formation of more complex structures sooner after the Big Bang. Additionally, JWST's findings have further complicated the long-standing mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Despite extensive research, the precise nature and composition of dark matter, which interacts gravitationally but not electromagnetically, remain elusive. Similarly, dark energy, which is responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, poses a significant challenge. The standard cosmological model treats dark energy as a constant throughout space and time, but discrepancies such as the Hubble tension suggest that our understanding may need significant adjustment. Dark energy may not behave uniformly throughout the cosmos. Alternative theories suggest dynamic forms of dark energy that evolve over cosmic time, potentially affecting the universe's expansion rate in different ways across various epochs. Addressing these mysteries requires not only advanced observational tools like JWST, but also theoretical frameworks capable of integrating new data while preserving the successes of existing models. Astrophysicists and cosmologists are exploring a range of hypotheses, from modified gravity theories to exotic particles and interactions beyond the standard model of particle physics. The implications of JWST's discoveries extend beyond cosmology, impacting broader astrophysical questions such as the origins of life, the suitability of planets for life, and the conditions necessary for complex chemistry to develop in the universe. By studying distant galaxies and their environments, Astronomers hope to gain insights into how Earth-like planets might form and evolve around other stars, providing clues about the prevalence and diversity of life across the cosmos. Looking forward, JWST promises to push the boundaries of our cosmic knowledge. Its unprecedented sensitivity and resolution will allow astronomers to study exoplanet atmospheres, analyze the properties of distant galaxies in exquisite detail, and probe the earliest epochs of cosmic history with unparalleled precision. These efforts not only enhance our understanding of the universe's past, but also pave the way for transformative discoveries that could reshape our grasp of physics, astronomy, and our place in the cosmos. As JWST begins its operational phase, astronomers eagerly anticipate new insights into the universe's most profound mysteries. Whether unraveling the nature of dark matter and dark energy, understanding galaxy formation and evolution, or exploring the potential for life beyond Earth, JWST stands ready to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos in ways once thought unimaginable. In conclusion, the convergence of advanced technology, theoretical innovation, and rigorous observation promises an exciting era in cosmology and astrophysics. JWST's contributions are set to be pivotal, offering a clearer view of the universe's earliest moments while challenging and refining our fundamental theories of its structure and evolution. As we embark on this journey of discovery, JWST stands at the forefront, poised to unveil the secrets of our cosmic origins and destiny.